I think I just got hammered. I think I just got hammered. Check that out right there. See it? It's my first good target of the day. Been out here about 45 minutes just digging a bunch of trash. Getting a 23-24. Let's uh, dig this together, see what we come up with. I don't know, it may be another can, but it don't sound like can. It sounds like a large copper. Like a large copper. Let's see if we got out of the hole. Nope, still in the hole right down here it's so mud it's just as sticky as it can be it's hard digging today sorry about the camera ability but it's kind of hard to dig and this stuff is so heavy still in the hole I think I moved it because I don't hear it Come on, get out of there. Let's try one more scoop and then we'll check this with the detector. Maybe I got it out. Sounds like it's over here. There it is, right there. Got it out the first time. You know what that's gonna be? Just a modern coin. That's just a modern coin. Man, what a bummer, all that work for just a modern coin. All right, let's keep going, that's the way it goes. You gotta dig the modern to get the old. All right, let's keep going. Man, this finds out here in this field are few and far between. We've been out here maybe an hour, two hours probably, and I have only found one modern coin. And uh, let me turn you around where you see me. One modern coin and a couple of buttons. And I've been working this side over here and everybody seemed to kind of congregate it over here. So I thought I'd just come over here too. And I'm glad I did. I just crossed this little ditch, came over here and got a slamming 33 to 40 signal, thinking it's aluminum can said I'm gonna dig it anyway but I popped it out found it oh my goodness I think I got a huge silver not not old but I think it's gonna be look at this right here can you see that that's definitely gonna be silver size of a half dollar let me get my uh, I don't want to rub that let me uh, get back here and I think it's time to break out the holy water Let's see if I can get some of this off and kind of, yeah, it's just not, it's just like this stuff. Let me get my other camera. Let me clean this up and uh, get back with you. It's just, I can't do it with one hand. It's just so thick like Play-Doh. All right, let me get my other camera and we'll show you the close up. Well, it's not gonna be old, but 1918, but man, look at this big old silver. I'll take it, I'll take it. This is called a one florin. 1918 look at the detail on that coin wow that's beautiful i've never dug one of these before that is beautiful that's going to be king charles v i believe yeah king charles v man that is nice i'll take that big silver for the day i'd rather take something about 350 years older than this but uh I'll take this nonetheless. All right, let's get a picture of it. Let's keep on moving. Well, we moved on from lunch. Now we're back over here. We actually see an inlet from the Atlantic Ocean coming over here. We just thought it was windy at the other location. It's really windy here. Got my first, second target. Actually, I got a button the first time, but uh, got a little coin right here. And uh, gonna be another copper half penny. I'm not sure I'm gonna get anything on it right now. Most 
likely this is as thin as this is going to be a kg2 could be a king edward all right let's keep on going see if we can find a gold well i was getting a 26 and i can see it right right there gonna be another copper that's all we're digging here which i don't mind you know back in the states you know we're digging a bunch of weedies and get tired of digging weedies and digging you know zinc and lincolns and you really do get tired of digging 1600 coppers i didn't think you could but you do there's just nothing on them they're slick you know maybe we clean them up we get a little bit of bust and find out it's a king george second or king george third or king william the third um a lot of times you can tell by the thickness but not always this is probably a king george third half penny in late, late 1700s early 1800s all right let's keep going see what else we can get well not too far away from that uh, copper i got another uh screaming 27 28 and uh, i don't know what this is got two little ears right there and some type of cap it's copper or brass looks like copper all right we'll keep on going just thought i'll show you guys that i'm over here on this other field from over there where the guys are this dirt field left the stubble field they got a green field and i got right up here by the road you can see uh came up here and got a old copper like i said we dig these things like wheat pennies a lot of times in these farm field coppers they are just uh, toasted you're lucky to get anything off of them uh, it could be a king george third king george second half penny well day five is in the books and we're on day six and what a way to start out day six just check that out it is snowing and it is raining all at the same time it's not too cold it's all right uh, it's not too cold but uh, at least the rain's kind of dissipating and the snow's coming in now and uh, check that out I don't know if you can see it on camera very well but it definitely is snowing my second trip to England and it snows uh, it's supposed to be a little bit better tomorrow our last day digging but hey this is not too bad if you come to england you might as, might as well dig right and uh haven't found anything today so far it's been a couple of hours but uh these fields are just kind of i don't know few and far between but when you find something it's usually pretty good all right i'm not gonna find anything talking to you guys let me turn this off and let me get out there and start doing some swinging see what we can come up with let's go have some fun let's get the solid 25 about six seven inches deep and we got another greenie here. I don't know which one this is going to be. Feels like a King George the Third. It's pretty thick. If I can get some markings off of this. I can't see anything. My hands are so cold. Looks like a bust right there. I can clean that off a little bit better. Yeah, it looks like a KG2. Yeah, it's going to be a KG2. I see it. I can see the bust to the left. All right, let's keep on going. That's a good sign. There's going to be more out here, maybe possibly silver. Well, I just just about 10 feet from that other KG2, I got another one right here. It's ringing up a lot different. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a KG. It's very, very thin. So uh, let me see if I can get anything off of it. Nope, I don't see anything on this one. It's just going to be slick. All right, we'll keep moving. Yeah, it's getting a real good high tone here. A 23. Thought it was going to be a coin, but popped it out. And check this out. It's actually going to be a button, but it's going to have an anchor on it. I think this is going to be a English Navy button. Wow, that is going to be a cool find right here. 
let me get my other camera let me clean it up and uh, we'll see what it looks like I think what I think what I have here folks is a Royal Navy button check that out it's still in great shape it's a bronze button at that a Royal Navy I have to check it out but I believe that's what it is don't know the date on it but it's very nice all right may be in a hot spot right here I just not just just real near those two coins I just dug all right let's keep going well I was getting a 23 24 it's been a while since my last find and it's right here it's gonna be a smaller coin oh so muddy probably a half penny I have no clue what that is all right we'll keep on going it's going to be a, a crown with a swan on it and something on the bottom. I'm not real sure. Let me set it down where you get a better picture of it. Yeah, I have to look that up and see what that is. Definitely going to be English with a crown and with that swan. That's going to be a nice find. All right, let's keep going. I have no clue what this is. It's got some writing down on the bottom. Got like a, uh, it's got the Union Jack in the middle. And uh, got some writing around it. Really not sure what that is. I have to ask. This might be a nice button. Nothing on the back. Yeah, that's really nice. Got some gold gilt still on it. I like that. Can't wait to find out what this is. All right, let's keep going. Got to go in for lunch. We're going to a new field. coin all week long I've only gotten one hammered and uh, I think I just got hammered I think I just got hammered I haven't even touched it I flipped it out it was real shallow about two inches deep but uh, it definitely looks hammered uh, let's go down there and look at it together forgive me for this wind it is really blowing check that out right there see it that is hammered definitely hammered I can see the cross on the back all right let me I uh, don't want to touch this too much let me lay it right there and I'm gonna get my holy water out and we're gonna clean it up there it is guys get it in the light have no clue no clue to what it is too much I'll let the guy let Chris the guy here the tour guide let him do it that's a beauty right there all right
God, I hope you can hear me. The wind is really blowing. All right, got my hammer today. I'm happy now. All right, guys. Jeff and I kind of got this little idea maybe about a month, month and a half ago that we come up with these t-shirts and uh, and then we got to think a little bit more. We came up with the idea that we're kind of doing an award ceremony here at the end of the week. So we're going to do some awards. And that's why we ask y'all to count up your silvers, count up your greenies and all that kind of stuff. And so Jeff and I collaborated today and we, we're going to... Uh, uh, Award the ones that we think are the are the main ones, but at the very end we're going to do a treasure hunter of the week of the trip, and we're all going to vote on that one tonight. Okay, so tonight we have several different awards that we're going to be giving out. These are the England Dirty Dozen Spring 2020 plaques here. Okay, and this is for the ugliest find, the ugliest find, <laughs> and uh, the ugliest find is going to be uh, Kevin. It's going to be your First century or first BC bronze dagger. So come on up here, guys. You got that. You bet. Is that yeah? That, yeah. Congratulations. These are official. These are very valuable too, by the way. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right. The next category that we have is Greeny King. Who's going to be the Greeny King in the trip? So I ask you to add up your all your greenies now. Who got more than 30 greenies? <laughs> Just you. <laughs> Just me. I got 37 greenies. You win. So I'm the greenie king. I'm the greenie king. All right. Next category is the Silver King. Jeff and I came up with these categories, by the way. Now, Silver King just being total silvers, okay? It could be old, it could be new, it could be, it could be anything. And uh, so. Who got at least four silvers? I mean, raise your hand. All right. Who got five silvers? Raise your hand. Who got six silvers? Raise your hand. Right. Who's got seven? I know you told me you got seven. All right. So Brandon is a silver king. Silver king, man. Congratulations. Awesome. Nice. Now, this is. These things will go back down just out of the man. Next category is going to be the Roman King. This is going to be the one who have the most Roman coins. But a lot, I think several people got at least one Roman coin. So we're going to go with the one who got the first Roman coin. And that's going to be Relic Rangers over here, Mr. Andrew P. Yeah. There you go. All right. Now, we can't leave out gold, so we're going to call this one. This is the King Midas, okay? Uh, Not the gold yeah. king, but King Midas. And I, we all know who the King Midas is over here. That's Mr. Seth Newkirk right here. <laughs> all right, now to the two big awards. The two big awards. This is going to be the find of the week. Now, pretty tough, you know, you got gold coin here, you got two gold coins here, gold coin there, you got first century, uh, first BC, you got a lot of good good things, you know, a lot of hammers, but Jeff and I have discussed and we figured out that the greatest find of the week, and I think we'd all agree on this, is Mikey's gold Roman gold coin. Yeah. Yeah. Now, last but not least, last but not least, this is going to be the treasure hunter of the trip. Okay? This is the one that stands out amongst everybody else, okay? The finds, the things, and what, whatever. But Jeff and I didn't decide on who this was going to be. We're all going to decide on who that was going to be. It was close. It was close. Treasure hunter of the trip. Treasure hunter of the trip, though, is going to be Mr. Seth Newkirk. Yeah. Yeah. Thank y'all right. for the first annual Dirty Dozen Award Ceremony. Thank you, Richard.